Alright guys, we got the uh, subwoofers ready. This is what the box looks like. It's power acoustic. It shows that the uh, it's a perfect match with the power acoustic 2500 watt monoblock amplifier. That's the same amplifiers that we have that we're running. It says 2500 watt max, 2.5 inch voice coil, loud, high efficiency, dual forum, subwoofer, same stuff. Let's open the box here. Let's see what we got. So you open the box up. Looks like just basic instructions for hooking it up for 1 ohm, 4 ohm mono block, 8 ohm, I don't know why you do that, 2 ohm, so what else? It's gothic. Uh, it gives you specs on the speakers, that sort. Let you know what you're looking at there. Looks like warranty information, but owner's registration card, whatever. Okay, here's the sub, guys. This is how it's packaged up. Let's get it out of here and look at it. Alright guys, this is it out of the box. As you can see, man, this thing is stiff. It really is out of the box stiff. Uh, it's very heavy. This magnet is doubled up back here. And you can see quilted spider and everything. There's four on voice coil. Or a voice coil there. You can see the spider back there a little bit. Yeah, this thing this seems to be really good. Like a woven pattern. And it sticks around here and this rubber is thick and hard. This comes off. You mount your screws under here. These caps go in after you screw it to your box. Let's flip it over and look at it from the other side. This is it from the back side. Here's the buttons on the connections. It says 2500 watt max, 12 inch subwoofer. There's the model. It's a GW124 dual 4 ohm voice coils. We're going to wire it to 2 ohm. I don't know if you can see down in there. Oh yeah, let me see down in there. Good. I have a hard time seeing the coils. You can see the stitching in the back side of the speaker here. Even up further by the cone. That's pretty much what that looks like guys. Let me grab a light and see if we can get inside and look at the coil. I don't know if you can see it or not like I see it, but you can see that the woven spider is in there. The coil's back there and it is big. It is black wired. This should be real good. Real, real nice. See the stitching here again some more. Alright guys, that's it. That's the speaker. That's what we're stuffing in there. That's the two that we already have. Just like that. Power Acoustic Gothic 2500 watt. Let's check out the amp. Alright, this is the monoblock amplifier. The box on this looks a lot like the subwoofer box. But instead of it saying that it goes with the amp, it shows that it goes with our subs here. Got a base knob, 2500 watt max, uh, one channel class D subwoofer amp, four and two ohm subwoofers, RCA high level inputs, high low level crossovers. He's got a subsonic filter too, class D technology. So let's open this box and take a look. All right, open the box. Uh, it's your high level output. I don't really know what you'd want to use that for with a subwoofer. Has uh, the user manual here, RZR12500D. It's got this piece of cardboard in here. Let's look. Pull that out. There it is. So let's get it out, guys. Let's get it open and let's take a look at it. Okay. Underneath, when you pull the amplifier out, there is the data cable for the base knob, and it looks like adjoining hardware down in there. So that's down there. We'll dig that out, and we're going to open this amp and have a look. There it is out of the package. Uh, power acoustic. It's got a metal finish here. These handles actually unscrew from the back sides on the other side, so you can get these off if you want to. It makes it easy for the installation. Uh, your power and your uh, protection mode lights there. Let's look at the 
electrical side here. Okay, it looks like you have your speakers out. There's positive and negative to your speaker. 225 amp fuses. Probably a CAB or hot. Your remote and your ground input. And those look like those might be four gauge connections there. So that's pretty good. I look at the other side. Here on the other side it looks like we have the high pass output. There's your RCA inputs. You have your gain, your subsonic filter, your bass boost, and your pass crossover there, and an input for your bass knob. These are actually this is actually kind of a heavy amp for being no bigger than it is, and it's very, very heavy. It's much like the subwoofers. The subwoofers are both very heavy for uh, no larger than, than they look. Uh, they say they have a 254 ounce magnet. I know a lot of people think that that is the weight of the magnet itself, but I don't think that is. I think that is the applied force to the coil of the magnet, um, if that makes any sense to people. That's the amount that when the magnet is activated, it can apply that much pressure to the coil to make the speaker move. I think that's what that is when it says it has a 254 ounce voice coil. Oh, right here on the or magnet, I mean, uh, right here on the box, it does say 254 out massive magnet. But I don't think that that's the weight of the magnet, guys. I think that's the applied force to the coil that does that. So I don't think it has anything to do with weight. With the magnet, you can definitely tell it is what's heavy on these, but the amp is just, they're all like this. The other three that are in there, they're solid heavy. I can run these things at nearly full power and I can do it for an hour, hour and a half, two hours, as long as I've ever wanted to do it for. And I don't have any problems with these amps. I can go back and touch them after I've used them for that period of time. And they're usually not even warm to the touch. They're much like this one feels now at room temperature. 